How I Got Banned for Life from the American Red Cross. So, let me back up by saying I've always had kind of an irrational fear of donating blood. Any, Like, I have tattoos and stuff, but, like, I don't know. Just seeing it go into your arm and then watch the blood come out is always kind of messed with me. But I know there's a big blood shortage and things like that, especially, you know, during COVID, all that. There was... So I, I overcame that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this, and it's the least I can do to try to help people. So I got over it, and I donated blood successfully several times. Well, um, so this time I took a day off work, or not a day off work. I, I took my lunch break an hour, and I went and donated blood on my lunch break. And so, again, not the most pleasant experience, but I wanted to help people out. So about a week or two later, I got a letter in the mail from the American Red Cross that said, Basically, it kind of led with, uh, it kind of led with, hey, by the way, you got hepatitis B, which, spoiler alert, I do not have hepatitis B, uh, or any hepatitis, just to be clear. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so they said in the same letter, though, it went on to say, you tested positive for hepatitis B, but we did two subsequent tests that proved that those were false positives. You don't have it. But... Their policy is if you've ever tested positive for some disease, then you can no longer donate ever again. Legitimately, the stupidest policy I have ever heard. Make that make sense. Our own test was wrong. We proved that our own test was wrong. And you, kind sir, who is donating your blood on your lunch break, are banned from doing it ever again. Oh, and we threw away the blood that you uh, donated to. Anyone at Red Cross want to explain this one?